Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a follow-up video to the Bare Bones factory setting OG Mini Back. So we've configured it, and as you'll recall, I said this after testing it at the factory settings. I think that the weapon Bare Bones Mini Back is outstanding. Like I said, I'm going to work on movement, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed, and I'm willing to trade some recoil for that. I'm willing to make it the recoil numbers look worse. Okay, well, let's see how we did. First and foremost, you know what? I went with the recoil. These are all composites, so they reflect the numbers as influenced by all of the attachments, not just this one. But you can see that I increased the gun kick 106%, the horizontal recoil, which was already bad, by 35%, and the vertical recoil, which wasn't so bad, by 35%. So I absolutely loaded this thing up with recoil. And here's my philosophy. The recoil didn't show up before in the matches. It showed up in the shooting range, but not in the matches. So I wanted to see if I could get the same sort of performance because you know what it did? It addressed the mobility issue. And you can see that the ADS movement speed is now 3.5 meters per second. Yeah, the crouch movement speed truly went up, but Grandpa doesn't crouch a lot because he doesn't like the way his toenails look. The handling, though, the ADS speed, which was a bad thing before, is now at 246. That's not lightning, but it's a lot better. In fact, 15% better. The sprint to fire, it is absolutely blistering at 93 milliseconds. Hip fire is still good. And if you look at the damage, it didn't change. Still 46 to the head, 39 to the upper and lower torso, and 37 to the upper legs. That's pretty strong damage. Bullet velocity is low enough to stay off the radar, and the rate of fire is high enough to make an impact. So while we're talking about recoil, let's go test this thing out in the shooting range and see what it did to us. I'm going to start with just hip shot recoil and see what happens. No control. That is not that bad. It barely moves up and slightly to the right. I am absolutely shocked. Now let's look at it. Aim down sight. So that's similar to what we saw with the factory settings. Let's try to control it. So that recoil is easily controllable, and maybe that's what the deal is. Maybe we don't try to control it as much in the shooting range and more in the map. I don't know. But let's have a look at the rest of the settings. The trebuchet break, and that helps some with recoil. That was about it. Effective damage range still isn't outstanding, but we have a lot of bullets, 64 in fact, to throw down the range, and we've already shown that we can control the recoil. It hurt the ADS speed a bit, but I thought, you know what? Maybe I should try to control some of that recoil. Nine millimeter overpressured ammo, which increases target flinch by 75%. So if you have the short effective damage range, then it may take a few extra bullets. If you're making the target flinch, they can't get back on target on you because you're the target so easily. So whenever I have a spare spot, I load on the overpressured ammunition. And finally, the Demo X2 grip, again, it's free on everything except for recoil, which helps at 7%. I didn't see any other attachments that I thought were worthwhile, so we went to war with four attachments. And speaking of going to war, let's take this fully configured recoil-heavy mini back onto the field of honor, see how it did for Grandpa, see what it did to Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into it and see if this high recoil mini back is better than just leaving the thing alone at the fa factory settings. And you can see the recoil just doesn't show up there. Of course, this map's going to be pretty tight. A lot of hip shooting like that. Cheech Marin, sorry about that. I enjoy your comedy, though. Don't hold it against me. There's a uh, obligatory camper, and it happens to be Elvis. Dr. Doom has showed up. There's Cheech again with a hip shot, another hip shot. So maybe we can get an opportunity for a longer shot, but you can tell that the movement speed has increased dramatically. If you watch yesterday's video, I am moving around quickly with this high impact, high damage weapon. 
it's not going to get away. I've got 64 rounds. I only used half of them. Of course, Grandpa eats a bunch of shotgun pellets from Richard Gere there, the actor. We got Elvis. He stepped on our place, our doormat. That guy is contemplating the lint in his navel. Richard Gere dressed as a tourist. A terrorist tourist. There he is again. So that that time, the weapon shot straight and true. And, you know, if you have over 100 degrees of gun kick, I'm just going to hold the trigger down turn the corner to gack the Doberman. Oh, there goes Cheech. we got to get him. Got him. We can beat Dr. Doom, but some Doberman came behind us and gacked us. So at 100, over 100 degrees of kick, the further out you go, the more it should affect you. Obviously, that's the nature of degrees per second. That was a big part of flying. I was calculating that sort of thing. Oh, Cheech is a little fast there, but he runs in the corner. Yeah, we haven't missed the shot due to recoil yet, and the speed just makes us deadly. Snickers win. Not all that special because it was so tight. We've got to see if we can get a little longer shots. I think there was a long shot in the introductory killings at the beginning of the at the beginning of the video yeah i mean there's a lot of death going on there it's a charnel house not das house das house of the dead well that would be kino der toten for the zombies fans should get a couple extra long shots longer shots here like that one if that person had not been rude and interrupted grandpa Let's see if we can find them. There they are. Oh, he's fixing a burger. He's grilling his own hamburger. Glass isn't broken. Oh, crossfire. There we got a ninja. It's funny. I told it to throw out one, and it threw them, threw them both out. The proximity mines, I mean. That's weird. Guy's carrying a cat AMR in stash house. Come on. Jump in the corner. We have a mosquito and that guy, boy, he's just going back and forth to pulling the trigger. And it worked. There's the golden terrorist. Okay, a little bit longer shot to the head. Where did this guy go? He must have left the game. Because he just disappeared. If that was him around the corner, he used the Star Trek transporter. So this weapon, like I said, I feel like I'm running pretty fast with it. At 90 millisecond sprint to fire, it's going to be hard for anybody to beat. Start at the hip, work our way up to the ADS. Yep. Easier target. He almost got away. What's going on back here? There he is. There he is. Whoa, he's camping in the corner. Same guy that was camping in the previous corner. Pitched a tent. What's going on here? Guy jumped into Grandpa's bullets. Oh, that's not very nice to throw a knife into an older guy like me. Hey, he's not going to get much deader. There's the cat AMR. This weapon is doing Fantastic. Oh, how'd you get away from my shock stick? I don't know why more people don't use the mini back. I really don't. Oh, somebody's laying down, waiting to scare mama when she comes in the kitchen. Grandpa Newbie, or Grandma Newbie, would step on that guy. There he is again, camping in the corner. Fast movement speed. 
Yeah, I think I would definitely give this weapon a try if you if you haven't tried it because it is deadly and this configuration makes it hard to beat in a one-on-one -on -one battle. I know in the comment I saw somebody say that they always miss the first few bullets with this weapon, but this thing is spot on. Got a porky pig there. Oh, Grandpa couldn't jump and hide. Whoa, what is going on? Had to jump up, turn around. We're within a point. We just need one more gack. Could you be the magic number? Yes. That was hard fought. Oh, yeah. Grandpa pumps a fist. Hey, the mini back in this configuration, close to unbeatable. I mean, it is a fantastic weapon. If you enjoyed the video, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciate it helps me helps the family enjoy your weekend cheers and peace to you